Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back to Dragon Ball Z. We have got a Super Saiyan Goku in the sand armor from the Cell Game Saga. This was a figure that was requested by Jordan Castro. Thank you so much for the suggestion and the request. I was really excited to get this one. Um, comes with a really neat medallion here with Super Saiyan Trunks. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but we've actually done a few from this set already. We did Super Saiyan Trunks and the Perfect Cell was Hell Jr. And I talked about coming back around and doing the other figures. Now that we've got Super Saiyan Goku, I will look to do Android 19 and Android 16 uh, in the near future. So here's the figure in the package. Similar to the Trunks, it's kind of got that yellowy coating on the plastic. So when you're looking through, it looks almost a little, a little hazy. But once we get it out of the package, um, we'll be able to see if the figure's got that nice glow to it, just like all the other ones do. So here's the package. Neat thing here, whoever was selling it sold it for $7.99. Pretty cheap for this figure. They usually run about, I'd say, gosh, these probably $30 to $50. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones, but if you're a fan of Goku and you want this figure, I really think it's worth it. We'll also compare this to our um, first figure we ever did on the channel from the Cell Saga, and then this is from the Cell Game Saga, just to see how the two figures stack up. So there's the back of the package one more time, and then let's go ahead and get this guy out. So we'll start in the bottom, like always, lift that up, get that plastic off just a little bit. And this one's been much simpler than the last few we've done. So there's the figure, we'll set this off to the side. We've got our usual paper here, Super Saiyan Goku. And then we'll get out the Dragon Balls. There's the figure in the package real quick. Let's get that to focus in, all right. So I love the face and the hair. They're different from the other Goku figure, which is a really nice touch. He looks very angry here. The one thing I wish they had with this figure is the Super Saiyan Gohan in the Saiyan armor uh, to go along with it. So if anyone knows of where you can buy that figure, if it even exists, uh, please let me know. I'd love to get that one. And we've got the two, three, and the five star balls here. So let's go ahead and get these out. But yeah, that little Gohan, I'd love to get the two of them. One of my favorite scenes is when they're coming out of the time chamber after they've completed their training. And both of their armors are a little beat up. From fighting one another. Well, there goes one Dragon Ball. We'll get that after the video. Let's get this other one out. But yeah, in that scene when they're coming out, they're both a little beat up and the armor's broken. They've got some tears on the clothing. It just looks so cool. It was even on one of the old VHS tapes um, for the Cell Game Saga. So if anyone knows of the Gohan in the armor, please let me know. Would love to have that one. So here is the medallion. Probably one of my favorite ones we've we've had since most of them have pretty much been Krillin's. We had the Frieza. I know the Super Saiyan Gohan with the cape was with the Dr. Zero figure. Probably my favorite one so far, but I like this one too. Always a big fan of Trunks. And so it says Android Saga, but that's really in the Cell Saga. It's always interesting how they tend to mix these up, but this Trunks has amazing power, but it takes more than strength to win a battle. Just showing that being Super Saiyan 2 and bulky and muscular was not enough to beat Cell uh, because he wasn't fast enough to actually hit him. We'll set that medallion off to the side and then we will get this figure out next. There we go. And here's the plastic again, so you can see that yellow coating I talked about. It's not the clear plastic like the others. It makes the figure seem as if it has that coating, but the figure does not. So there's Goku. See, he looks angry. You can see the detailing on his hair. Then his arms come up. They don't bend at the elbow, but they do come out. This looks really neat. It's a really sturdy figure. It's not loose. Um, it takes a little bit to kind of move the arms around. The legs come up. They bend at the knee. So this one bends pretty easy, this one. Okay, there we go. Just gotta break it in a little bit. And then just like the other Super Saiyan figures, he's got the yellow on the boot. The base form ones um, don't have the yellow on the boot. They have the lines, 
but they're just the same color as the boot. So this is to have a little bit of a, sorry, it does have a little bit of a different coating as far as the paint goes. It's not just that regular blue and white. It has a little bit of a, almost like a little yellowish hue. It's, it's hard to really describe it, but it does look really neat on this figure. It kind of separates it from the others. You can kind of see it on the boot. It's not just that plain bright white. It's got a little bit of that kind of color shade to it. And here's the back. So love the hair here in the back. Love the detailing there. And then the armor. A little bit of a scuff mark, no big deal. See the armor there in the back. Armor in the front. Really neat figure. Let me go ahead and get this guy down here and we'll lower the camera to get a look at him. And then we'll also compare him to the figure from the Cell Saga, just to see the difference in the two. And let's go ahead and get this camera down. One second. And there they are. So you can see that this one just looks a little bit more calm in the face. His hair looks different. So his hair here looks more like the regular Super Saiyan. This looks more like the Super Saiyan 2 hair. It's got a little bit more of the spikes and looks a little bit firmer, which they just call it Super Saiyan Goku, but it makes me feel a little bit better. We'll call it Super Saiyan 2. So nice little touch on that. This one's got the hands open. And this figure also comes with the gold sprayed hair with the vehicle so he can hold on to the handles of the vehicle. And it looks like they did the same thing here where his hands are just open um, so he can grab onto something. And then here he has the fist clenched. If I had to pick between the two as far as favorite, I love this because of the colors. It just got that classic Goku about to fight Cell look, but this one just looks so intense. He's training there with Gohan. Um, and again, to me, he looks like he's Super Saiyan 2, so I'm going to just call it that. But there they are up close. Probably always have to go with the classic, but honestly, for anyone who's a fan of Goku or a fan of these figures in general, I highly recommend the one in the Saiyan armor. So let's go ahead and get this camera up. We'll lock it in place. Take one more look at the figure up close. And then we'll wrap up. So here he is, one more time up close. Hope you guys enjoyed this, really, really neat figure. So glad I got this one. If you know where to get the Gohan or if it exists, somebody please let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to get that. Any other figures you'd like to see, whether it's from Dragon Ball Z or any other TV series, any other show, please leave a comment down below, I'm happy to get it. We've got more Spider-Man the Animated Series coming up, more Batman the Animated Series. And I thought about bringing in a couple other shows, but we'll just wait. Wait on that. Won't say anything until the figures actually come in. And I appreciate all the comments. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you again next time.